Good evening, this is Mrs G reading your bedtime story. Are you sitting comfortably? Then let me begin. This book is called When the Dragons Came by Naomi Kifford and Lynn Moore. Poppledog Town was a loveless town. The neatest rows of houses had charming front gardens with hedges and lawns that were trimmed every day. The high street provided whatever was needed. The river bank was perfect for picnics in May. Oh yes, Poppledown Town was a loveless town and everyone who lived there agreed. Amelia Topin loved shopping. She skipped down the aisles of Poppledown Market. Selecting her salads, her cheese and cold meats, she paused at the freezer and chose all her favourites, then filled up her trolley with donuts and treats. Oh yes, Amelia Toppin loved shopping. Until the dragons came. Frederick Creedin loved reading. He hurried each morning to Poppledown Library, treasuring the hush as he browsed along rows. He liked choosing stories, then reading them quietly, and the click of the stamp on each book that he chose. Oh yes, Frederick Creedin loved reading. Until the dragons came. A Olivia Turnin loved learning. She sat on the carpet of Poppledown Playgroup, eager for stories and song with Miss Twee. She carefully moulded her plasticine biscuits, ready to use in her teddy bear's tea. Oh yes, Olivia Turnin loved learning. Until the dragons came. So Olivia Turnin hated learning, Frederick Creedin avoided reading and Amelia Toppin stopped shopping. The Poppledown town, town just wasn't the same since the dragons came. But Jeremy Stampin loved camping. He set up his tent on Poppledown Common, a holiday village of orange and red. He checked all the guy ropes, the pegs and the zippers, then sizzled his sausages and pumped up his bed. Oh yes, Jeremy Stampin loved camping. Until the rain came. It drummed on the canvas like zebras tap dancing. It hampered the fly shoots and trickled down poles. It seeped into sleeping bags, gathered in puddles. The campers were soggy and hungry and cold. Until the dragons came, they spread out their wings and provided a shelter. They dried up the puddles, cooked sausages to share. The campers saw kindness and talked with the dragons. They realised quite quickly they had not been fair. They explained to the dragons just how they'd been annoyed them with clumsy behaviour and the mess that they'd made. The dragon said sorry, they'd meant to be friendly, they tried to be careful and calm if they stayed. So Olivia Turnin went back to her learning, Frederick Creedin continued reading, and Amelia Toppin only went shopping on Wednesdays when the dragons came. The end.